Well guys, it's a pretty sad day here for me. The old pool and bit the dust. Baby. There's something missing from this equation here. You guys can't see. Leg needle and the sprocket just snapped off. I might have another one. From the thigh messed up because I put straight gas in it. Quickly goes right there. Well, I might be in the market for another chainsaw, unfortunately. I was just uh, cutting up some wood here, getting it stacked up for next year. And she decided to let go. Well, I'm at it. This is how I stack my wood up to dry over the winter. I got car tires underneath the pallet. I do that because Get my pallet from rotting out as well. And improves air circulation. Or, I got pallets on a little fut futon frame. Where I also load up some wood. My pallet pile. Most of those will get burnt this year inside the stove. I'll make something of them. Whatever comes first. I don't care if I get them for free. So, I think I'm going to do a poll and see uh, what my next chance of purchase might be. I know what I want. It's another cool one. Cause for the price and how I abuse it, that's a damn good saw. I don't care what any of you Phil or Husqvarna people say. <clears throat> if you'd want to go out and spend $400 on a saw and beat it up like I did, then you're not. But, <clears throat> I'll do a poll. Maybe go from there. So it's a real quick video because my camera's about to die. And, um, Should have another video up pretty soon about the little serving table I made. And I got some uh, brushes and brush my stain. So that one should be up in project after that. This uh, old oil drum. I'm going to turn it into a, pretty much an incinerator for burning cardboard and stuff. So, feel free to leave comments about your saw, I know you will, and how long you've had it, and how much wood, or how many cabins you've built with that saw. Right now I'm on uh, one and a half cabins with my saw, and uh, an 8 by 16 wood shed, so I think I've spent about four and a half cord in there. I usually cut about five a year. If I saw and I don't bring it inside, I leave it out in the woods. That way I don't have to drag it around with me. So, uh, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to comment on what you think is a really good saw. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.